Welcome! So this video is about blowers and fans for mushroom cultivation. Each fan has its own purpose and uh, there's two primary types of fans that I use but I'm going to go over three of them. One of them being crappy. So um, first off, the crappy kind of fan is an inline fan. These are designed for like duct work and uh, this is one after about a year and it's filthy, disgusting, dirty and you can see how it's all spores that build up on it. You can see how the wire and electrical got all corroded and nasty looking. This fan failed, okay? And that's what happens with these fans. They don't last very long. And then these are the really good fans. I like the Ventec, the IF4s and the IF6s. This is my new circulation fan. And um, if you mount these properly, the best way to mount them is blowing down. So that way what happens is if they're blowing down, when you need to clean it, while it's running, just take your hose and shoot your hose through and it'll clean off all those spores. Because for the most part, this stuff wipes right off. It's just gooey, wet junk. Um, so that as long as it's wet and not dried up and caked up, uh, you can just shoot your gun through and then it'll rinse out the back end. So like if you had kind of like, let's say if you're exhausting up out the roof, and this is what I need to do, I haven't done it yet. But if you're, if you have the exhaust fan mounted in a downward position with kind of a p-trap and then like a clean out at the bottom that you can remove that clean out hose it out and clean out that fan that would be the best situation otherwise what happens is like currently what i have going on is the fans blowing upwards and if moisture builds up it kind of just keeps pushing the moisture up and then every once in a while the moisture drops down and spits out of the intake or i'm sorry out of the exhaust uh port so that's not optimal the best way would be to have like a J-shaped or just a downward, like your exhaust facing down and going like out underneath your garage door or out underneath a low vent. The reason why I vent my exhaust up high is because in front of my house is where I walk past and my cars are parked and all that. And I wanna to try to get the spores up and away as high as possible. So it goes two stories up out the roof, like 30 feet high and it gets the spores up and away from everything. Um, that's more of a oyster mushroom issue, not so much of a shiitake or like king oyster issue where you, you don't need high fresh air exchanges for those. So these are the two, the two types of fan that I use in the grow chamber. These are crap, these are good. I use these for circulation as well. And they're good for having, um, like I'll take the poly roll and like a poly tubing, like what you'd use for, for rolling logs, you know, mushroom logs of, of straw. And I'll use that for ducting. And the nice thing about that is you can see when it gets dirty and you can change it easily. And you can also cut holes in it wherever you need and have like say a long duct that runs along the whole top of the chamber or up and down and then cut holes directing the airflow wherever you need it and adjust it accordingly. So those are the two types of fans. Now a blower is a different thing. A blower is for your flow hood. You wouldn't necessarily want to, want to put one of these in your grow chamber because they're made for pushing pressure. Uh, the, the shape of the, the, the housing and the turbine and all that, it's built for doing pressure. So here's one from a, um, this is from a house furnace. And this one's a Dayton, I forget the model, it's a, what is it? One Tango Delta Tango 8 Alpha. So that's the one that I use for my, my 20 inch by 40 inch flow hood. And it pushes like, I think it's like 500 or 600 CFM at like 0.4 WG, which is the back pressure. So these are good for pushing high volume at high pressure. Um, these are slightly worse at pushing high volume at high pressure, and these are horrible at pushing uh, pressure. They, are on, they only move volume and they crap out. So they're not, I w these are good for like, maybe if you're getting started and you're in a really tight budget, but these are twice as much, but they last four times as long. So I really recommend these, uh, the, the, the Ventec, the IF series, or I'm sorry, yes, the IF series, IF4, IF6, and the IF8. So that's my quick video on fans. I just figured, I, these came in and I figured I'd show you guys the difference. Um, you can see that the, the motor in these is kind of inside, see here's the intake and there's like the blades and uh, the, the motor is behind it, whereas this motor is right there just getting spat on. Uh, I'm sure it's a sealed motor, I'm not exactly sure, I've never taken it apart completely. But uh, once a year or once every six months, you have to kind of take these completely apart. Uh, you split them down the middle. There's, there's bolts that run 
you can you take this off and there's bolts that are right here right here right here and then the housing splits in half and you can really clean it really well um i'd recommend do that at least like every six months or a year especially on your exhaust fan uh, or a circulation fan uh they just build up spores in all nooks and crannies and get really gross so in the meantime you can hose them down but you still got to do the big overhaul like at least every year at, at minimum um so that's that's my video about fans if you like my video give me a thumbs up uh, right now I'm trying to upgrade my equipment, my, uh, my camera, my phone camera, actually the back lens broke. So trying to upgrade my camera to a nice one. If you guys want to donate, I have a donate here button on my homepage. Uh, please donate if you like, if not, then don't. All right. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, have a good one. Thank you. Keep on mushrooming.